Look at all that meat that is in there. <laughs> and now, look, I'm taking a picture of it, folks. It looks that good. All right, so now we've got we've got to get got our the buns hose ready. Yeah. So what we're doing is we're just melting some butter in here. That's all you're doing. Okay. We're just gonna toast them up a little bit. Okay. Um, you do a lot of different things when you toast a hoagie. I just like to put it in here because it's kind of like a flat top in a grill. Plus, it's fun just saying toast a hoagie. Do you need another one or are we good? No, we'll be good. Okay, for now. I'll probably okay. have to make more because the fans are probably going to want more of this baby, I think. I think I don't so. Know. Okay, so let's go over this real quick so we can talk about it a little bit. So first thing is, one thing that I like to do with this uh, meat after I get it done is to take and add some parsley to it. Um, the parts that give a little flavor, but mostly just gives it some color break in there. Okay. Okay, because it's real, you know, it's kind of dull. Man, then, I'll, I'll tell you, it looks pretty. Yeah. And then um, what we're going to do is we're going to, you can see the cheese sauce too. I don't know if everybody got to see this. I tried that during the break. I have one problem with it. What is it? It's, it's too good? It's too righteous. Yeah, it's very righteous. It, it is very righteous. And you righteous. can see how nice this comes out. And folks, I tell you this, um, this is the kind of stuff we talk about at the sauce class. These things are easy to make. I think sometimes that people make stuff way more complicated by throwing a bunch of stuff in there. These are simple to make. Equal parts butter. butter. All you're making is roux. Simple you're, roux. You got the roux. Right. Then you add the cream. You get it to the consistency almost that you want. And right. And then you start dropping in that low moisture cheese. cheese. And the cheese will melt up real nice and okay. you'll get this real creamy. Look, the whole thing with this, and I'm telling you right now, uh, we talk about this a lot in the sauce class. People get really afraid when they're making sauces, okay? The, mo the thing you gotta remember is just stir it so the cream just does keep it. Going. Yeah, so the cream does it and let it cook. Um, people get real nervous about this stuff and they try to hurry it along. The longer it can set in there and just kind of boil and then simmer after you put that cheese in, and we talked about that cheese. That cheese is a United okay. cheese. I'm gonna switch over here because okay. I want you guys to get a close up of this because I wanna show you something. Get up in here because there's something that's just therapeutic about watching. <laughs> <laughs> that right there, isn't yeah. it? Doesn't that look good? I mean, this is some good stuff. Just think about that all over that rib. I'm telling stage. you. So, oh. so our our uh, you know, uh, 44 Farms is a is a partner of Benny Keeson. One of the things that they do very well is their ribeyes are so good, and uh, we get excited. I get excited when we're using their product. Like 1855, it's an upper two thirds choice product. But this is a great way to feed a whole lot of folks with just a little, I'm gonna leave these in here for just a second. Ooh, get them. With, with a, to feed a whole lot of folks with just a couple of ribeyes, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, and, and putting the mushrooms and the uh, jalapenos and the onions in there, man, it only adds more layers of flavor to this thing. So what you get is something that's really, really, really good. And what we're gonna do is when we come back, we're gonna start cheesing them up. And so you'll okay. see how these do, okay? Let's cheese it up. Cheese it up. We'll be back after this. Ready? 